Praise the Lord. Thank you. This is your friend Michael Masambu. And we are beginning a new series on, Victor in, in, on Victoria's Living. We are going to look at how to rule and reign by the power of your words. You know, God in his manifold wisdom, he created you and I in his own image and after his own likeness. And how did he create the entire universe? How did he create the dry land, the earth? How did he create the seas and the oceans? How did he create the stars and the moon and all the things that are in the firmament? He created all these things by the power of the word. Nothing came into existence that God did not say or speak into existence. Even for God to create man, the Bible tells us that God said, and God said, let us create man in our own image and after our own likeness. So in essence, a human being created in the image and likeness of God is a creator. Just as God is a creator, a human being is a creator of his own environment. How does he do that? He creates his environment by the words that he speaks. If you speak and confess failure, you become a failure. If you speak and confess the word of God over your life, the word of God is, is, is lived in your life. You start experiencing the fullness of the blessings of God by the words that you speak. In the book of Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 20 and verse 21, this is what the scripture says. And I want us to really, and I want you to listen to this word of the Lord keenly because this is what is going to help you live a victorious life that God really intended for you to live. So let us read verse 20 of the book of Proverbs and uh, chapter 18 of the book of Proverbs and verse 20. This is what the scripture says. A man's belly will be satisfied or filled with the fruit of his mouth. And he will be filled with the increase of his lips. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. So your life, your future is determined by the words that you speak. So if you speak the word of God, what God says about you, if you wake up in the morning and you say, I thank God I have the mind of Christ, I have the purposes and intentions of Christ, I thank God my old person was crucified together with Christ and now I'm a new person, a resurrected body in Christ Jesus, you will start living victoriously because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I want to encourage you, look at what Solomon puts, uh, says in Proverbs. He says, a man's belly will be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. And he will be filled with the increase of his lips. So the words that we speak produce an increase. If you speak failure, you increase failure in your life. If you speak victory that is found in the Lord Jesus Christ, you increase that victory in your life. So today I think and I believe that as we end this day, and for those of you who are on the other side of the globe as you begin this new day check the words that you speak put yourself in the word of god speak the word 
The Lord bless you and watch over you. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for my brothers and sisters, for the opportunity of giving us, Lord, to hear your word. And Lord, from today, we elect to be men and women that speak the word of God, not speaking the situations that we are going through. So today, let the weak say that I'm strong. The sick declare that they are healed by the stripes of Jesus. Lord, I thank you and I give you praise and glory because we have been forgiven, cleansed, and redeemed by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.